Welcome back. Mortgage rates racing towards 8% now, locking home buyers out of the market with mortgage demand plummeting to a nearly three decade low. Joining us now, Bright MLS Chief Economist Lisa Sturdivant. Lisa, great to have you on the program. Thanks for being here. Biggest concern Thanks right now me. is that rates are going up, and given the jobs numbers we saw today, maybe they're going to go up even more from here. Um, but prices are not coming down as quickly as people want. So the market has basically stalled, and inventory is low. Um, what what are you supposed to do? I mean, housing is a number one need for many of us out there. How do you navigate this market? No, absolutely, right? With elevated mortgage rates and prices that are continuing to rise, we've seen affordability hit an all-time low. And for prospective home buyers in the market, it has only gotten more challenging. So we've seen that for some people, the decision has just been to sit out the market because in some markets, rents are coming down and renting may be the better option at this point. And for others, there's just been a lot more creativity that has had to go into the home buying process, whether that's buying with family members, looking at adjustable rate mortgages, or finding other ways to get into this really tough market. Wow, I think some people, you know, when they think about inventory and not having a lot of options at the moment, they might think maybe a new home, a newly built home would might be the route to go uh, and kind of put off that home buying purchase maybe until a new home is built online six months, a year down the road, hoping for better conditions, right? But I was taking a look at home builder sentiment and that dropped recently after rising earlier this year. If anyone is following along with how home builders are feeling, if they're not as optimistic now as we have an inventory crunch, what does that say to a buyer who might think a new home could be possible for them? Yeah, I think that's right. We've seen a lot of home buyers who maybe have gone to the lots of new build uh, developments. They might not have expected to be looking at new construction, but but that's what's available. And we have seen recently, though, builders who have been having to offer concessions to keep those buyers on their lots, whether it's buying down points on their mortgage or offering uh, amenities into the into the new home. And so I think home builders are very sensitive to the fact that home buyer demand is going to have to retract as we hit these 8% levels uh, because some, for some buyers, the numbers just simply aren't penciling out anymore. Lisa, if people wait it out, let's say they're looking for a home now, but they say, I'm gonna wait it out. I'm gonna wait till January or early next year. Is there a good chance they could actually get a better price on a home then because the high interest rates are gonna have taken their toll on people? Yeah, no, that's a great question. I think that's a question a lot of prospective home buyers are asking right now. Should I wait? And I think it's really hard. If this is the right time for you and your family to buy a home, then I think this is the market that you have to act in. But I will say for those who are able to wait, we will see mortgage rates come down in 2024. But I wouldn't expect in most markets for buyers to see a big drop in prices. Mm. Inventory is just so low that prices are going to remain stable in most places, and we shouldn't expect a major price correction to occur in the next year. Wow, Lisa, you mentioned some of the places where rents were coming down. They've come down a little bit in New York, but, I mean, not enough to have a huge impact. I'm wondering where across the country rents have come down the most. Yeah, we've seen a lot of new construction in some of the bigger markets um, in Texas, even in California and on the East Coast. There are many places where they're seeing record levels of new apartment construction coming online. And we're seeing for the first time in August that median rents nationwide were down year over year. And so for some people, uh, renting a place is the right decision for them now. The problem is for those who want to get into home ownership, this affordability challenge is really putting off that ability to build equity through home ownership. And that's a real challenge for millennials and other young people who are getting into the market right now. It sure is. A lot of people that have young kids or want to start a family are putting off those major life decisions because of it. Lisa Sturdivant, thank you so much for helping us understand this big problem. Thank you. Thank you.